So I would like go in and try to talk to patients and it would go down something like this. I'd be like, say man, the problem is you got lax in your medial collateral ligament. What we gonna do is call a patellofemoral ligament release that release up some of the tension in your jaw space and get you back to your optimum range of motion. As I say. <laughs> and she's like, this guy fucks his sister. <laughs> So I have somewhat lost the accent over the past 20 years, oh but I'm still fucking my sister. <laughs> I am so glad you guys are laughing at that joke. I told that joke two weeks ago at the Comedy Cabana in North Myrtle Beach. Dead fucking silence. 200 fucking people, this fucking big redneck on the front row is like, I think that son of a bitch means make love to his sister. <laughs> Somebody needs to teach that cocksucker some manners. <laughs> he thinks he's all big and bad up there with that fancy electric talking stick. <laughs> I was, I was back east, I was in the Carolinas, and I got to uh, spend a little time with my family, hung out with my dad for a little bit, and things have changed over the past uh, 20 years, uh, in our, or 40 years in our relationship, fucking old as shit. And we're, we're no longer like, like our, it's not a father and son relationship, we're more like best friends, so we wind up having conversations like best friends would have, and it gets creepy with my dad because he just wants to talk about sex. <laughs> He likes, he wants to know what I get into, and he likes to tell me what he gets into. And, you know, about 10 minutes in this conversation, I realized, this guy's talking about banging my mom. <laughs> and he gets fucking graphic, which really fucks it up for me. He's like, boy, you know what I like to do? I like to get up behind a woman and pull on her goddamn hair, you know, get all up in that shit, you know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, I hope you're talking about some hooker you strangled at a truck stop. Because <laughs> my mama don't like getting her hair pulled. I hope. I, I like to choke a woman when I'm having sex. I lose you on that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know why I do that shit, but I think it's because that's pretty much the only time it's actually okay to do it. Because <laughs> I tried doing it in a Land Rover dealership one time. <laughs> oh, love whiskey. 
and guns. I'm a real fucking redneck, let me tell you. I fucking, I just moved up here to Hollywood recently. I spent 20 years down in uh, the South Bay in Hermosa Beach, California. Thank you. And uh, I, I lived down there and it was, it was great, but I, I had these neighbors, Rick and Shelly, uh, just a perfect, you know, white couple, beautiful white kids, you know, real nosy fuckers though, but uh, <clears throat> Rick was sitting out there his driveway one day and he's like, uh, he's like, Rick, what's that big red box thing you have in your garage all about? And I was like, Rick, that's my gun safe. And he's like, gun safe? Well, how many guns do you have in that gun safe? And I was like, I think right now I got about 37. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? fuck do you need 37 guns for? And I was like, well, Rick, we live in a metropolis, you know, crazy shit can happen. There's fires, earthquakes, tsunamis, riots. I want to be ready in case shit goes down. And he was like, well, me and Shelly, we just, you know, we've got a little basin area there with dry food and water. That's where we, you know, we're prepared. And I was like, well, that's where the guns come into play, Rick. <laughs> See, because when, when the fire or the earthquake or the tsunami hits, I'm going to grab the Glock 17, I'm coming next door, and I'm taking all your fucking supplies. <laughs> and I'm probably going to fuck Shelly. <laughs> Couple of racists, rapists in the house. I'm definitely gonna fuck Shelly. <laughs> Big ass tits out there pruning roses all day. <laughs> I just had an, I had an anniversary uh, two weeks ago, would be the uh, four year anniversary of me getting married. Thank you. It was the worst four months of my entire fucking life. I married this really pretty Colombian girl. Uh, let me just say this about Colombians before I get started. Colombians are the worst type of Mexicans <laughs> that there are. No, I married this really pretty Colombian girl. Claudia was her name. Cla Claudia Jimenez, in case you want to look her up on Facebook and fuck with that bitch. But I, I took Claudia back to South Carolina to meet my parents, and this was quite the fucking treat. My mom greeted us at the airport. She was like, Claudia, we're so happy to meet you. We made your favorite for dinner tonight. Taquitos. <laughs> I was like, Mom, first of all, Claudia is not Mexican. Claudia is Colombian. Let's get a hot pot of coffee out here and an eight ball. <laughs> Rapido. There's a lot of talking that night. I, I really hit the lottery when I got married because I married this really pretty Cla Cla Claudia. Not only did Claudia and myself move into this beautiful high rise in uh, off, uh, somewhere in Westwood, but uh, her gay brother Mario moved in with us. Yeah, Yahtzee. <laughs> It was some shit. Some weird shit would happen, you know, around the apartment having a gay roommate, you know, that I wasn't ready for it. One night we were trying to get ready for some event, and she was like, go use Mario's shower. He's got better water pressure in there. There's plenty of clean towels. Knock yourself out. So I went there, and I used his shower. The pressure was fantastic. I got out. I couldn't find a towel underneath the sink to save my life. But what I did find was the largest collection of gay pornographic magazines ever stacked on the face of this fucking earth. <clears throat> now, after looking at this shit for about an hour and a half, <laughs> I was ready to throw up. Because <laughs> I get dizzy when I masturbate. My, my ex-wife and I were still friends, you know, because she's, you know, she still lets me fuck her. 
every now and then. <clears throat> but she, she comes to my show, and that joke always gets under her skin. She's like, Greg, I think your comedy is very funny, but uh, did I mention she's a fucking vampire? That's, that's, my, that's my Spanish accent for you guys. But she is an ATM sucking vampire, but uh, she said, Greg, I love that joke, your comedy is funny, but please leave Mario out of your routine. He may be gay, but Mario's not feminine gay. Mario's macho gay. Like, really? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is there some guy out there who's like, give me that fucking dick? <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Who the fuck else wants some? You motherfucker, you better recognize you about to get your dick sucked. I found that that's actually an awesome way to get out of a road rage altercation as well. Just jump out of the car. Motherfucker, I will suck your fucking cock. You will put on a turn signal. I used to suck dick in jail. Coming to my cell acting all hard. But you going to bed soft. Get a lot of shit for telling gay jokes sometimes in uh, Hollywood now that I moved up here. But I just I've just gotten affiliated with this. I'm putting together my own new gay charity. Uh, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be called. This the first one's gonna go this year. It's gonna be called the the Greg Garner Annual Walk from AIDS. And we're gonna start in West Hollywood right there, Robertson and Santa Monica. And we're just gonna walk east as far as we can fucking possibly get from AIDS. Until we hit like Palm Springs and then we're just gonna start over again, I guess. That, that joke reminds me of what my grandpa always used to tell me. He was like, if, if life gives you women, give women AIDS. <laughs> Just keep going until I fucking lose everybody. <laughs> so, so, I'm single. <laughs> And I, uh, I, I do a lot of the dating sites. I was on Match.com, and I went on a, a date with this girl. And uh, we sat down for dinner, and uh, she looks over me. This is the first fucking date I ever went on one of these dating sites. She looks over me, and she goes, uh, there's something I need to tell you before we get started. And I was like, what's that? And she's like, well, I have herpes. It was as quiet as this fucking room is right now. And that wasn't what was funny, though. What was funny was listening to this crazy bitch try to sell me herpes. <laughs> Because she was like, oh my god, like, it's only like a 10% chance that you could get it. And even if you did, it'd be like one pill a day. And I hardly ever have a breakout. And the whole time this bitch was talking, all I could hear was, join us. <laughs> we are the Herpamites. It's just one pill a day. You already take vitamins, don't you? Oh, shit. That's my time, folks. Thank you so much. My name is Brad Gordon. One more time for Brad Gordon. Fantastic. Ew. Touching on all the relevant things from terrible grandparents making a cameo once again to herpamites. Fantastic night. Four jokes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, quick announcement before we move on to show. You probably noticed this card on your table. A uh, quick reference. If you bring this card to the show next time, you get $3 off your ticket. And I hate the dentist.com sponsors the show. You get all kind of discounts on all kind of dental work. So check that shit out. So I'm talking about free money, bitches. Uh, hey.